Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm going to show you how to make curry chicken. This recipe has been highly requested and I am so glad to show you how I like to make it. This isn't the authentic way of making it, this is just my way and it is really really good. You guys will love it. Alright you guys, in this bowl I have some chicken breast that I cut into bite sized pieces. We're going to start by seasoning the chicken with salt and pepper. Next, we're going to add some curry powder, some finely minced garlic and ginger, fresh thyme and fresh parsley. I also have some minced onions going in as well as spring onions. Last, we're going to add some finely chopped red bell pepper and green bell pepper. Go ahead and mix everything together. All these vegetables are going to add so much flavor to the curry chicken. Once everything is very well mixed in, you're going to cover this up, then place it in the fridge to marinate for at least two hours. If you have time, you can even go overnight. That way the chicken can really soak in all those delicious flavors. Next, you're going to place a pot over medium heat, then drizzle in some olive oil, once the oil gets hot enough, go ahead and toss in some minced onions. We're going to cook the onions for about 5 minutes until they develop a nice golden brown color just like this. For this recipe, you want to cook the heck out of each ingredient because that's how you get the absolute delicious flavor. And these golden brown onions, they smell so good. Next, we're going to add some finely chopped garlic and ginger and you want to cook this for just about a minute until they begin to get fragrant. Then we're going to add some crushed tomatoes. Next, I'm adding some curry powder, enough to build up that curry flavor. Season with salt and pepper, then mix everything together. Then we're going to cook this until the tomatoes are completely cooked. You will know that your tomatoes have cooked very well when the sauce thickens and the oils separate from the tomatoes, just like this. At this point, you want to toss in your marinated chicken. Then you're going to turn the heat to medium high and let the chicken fry together with the sauce for about 5 to 8 minutes. Next, we're going to add some chicken broth to loosen the sauce. If you realize the sauce is still too thick, you can add more chicken broth. Then you're going to turn your heat to low. Don't forget, low heat, okay guys? Then let the chicken slow cook in the sauce for about 10 to 12 minutes. This will make the chicken really, really tender. Once cooked, I like to finish it off with some heavy cream and fresh parsley. Then I let it cook for about a minute and that's it guys, it is ready to serve. Very easy and it smells so 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 good. Make sure you have some rice cooked on the side because they pair so well together. The chicken is so tender, the sauce has the perfect amount of cream and the flavors are insanely insanely delicious. By the way, let me show you all my rice cooker real quick. This is what I use to cook my rice. It was sent to me. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box together with a coupon code if you guys are interested. I really love this rice cooker. You guys should go make this recipe. You will love it. I have all the ingredients and measurements in the description box. 